Oh yeah, we're here at Wilderness Brother Dude because you guys are awesome, man. You guys requested a fourth meal plan. I mean, just look at every single one of you guys. The one thing cool that Knott's Berry Farm is doing here at Wilderness Broiler, man, they are bringing back items that were here during the tasting events and they're also bringing new items. Check out this ode to Cordelia here at the Wilderness Broiler, man. Can we take a second, dude? Can honestly, we take a second and look how good, dude, this piece of filet of chicken looks, dude. Now on the bottom, you are gonna have that sauce and the jalapeno. This looks like it's gonna be amazing, dude. Whoa, bro, look at that shrimp po' boy. This is what I'm talking about, bro. This shrimp po' boy is delicious, and I am so glad it's back here at Knott's Berry Farm. I mean, look at all that shrimp, bro. You do got coleslaw on the bottom, man. That po' boy was perfect. And that is what you want out of a po' boy, bro. I'm gonna tell you, you need to come here with this boiler, bro, and try that po' boy. You only got till June 13th. It is also available on the meal plan and the daily plan, dude. So, dude, that easily is a solid three right there. A must try. Limited time offer, dude, here to June 13th. But now let's get into the O to Cordelia. So one thing I will say about the O to Cordelia here at the Wilderness Broiler is the ciabatta bread, dude. I really like the ciabatta bread that they do have here. So the O to Cordelia here was pretty good. The thing that the O to Cordelia has going for it here is the ciabatta bread. Now if I had to rank that one compared to the other O to Cordelia's, a two out of three. If I was gonna get an O to Cordelia, I would go to Coasters to get the donut one or I would go to Boardwalk Barbecue for the island chicken sandwich. Now it's time to head back up to Ghost Town, bro, because we are gonna get into the tater tots. So one thing that is cool, the refreshing stations. So all the refreshing stations are back open around the park. There are five locations that you can refill. Bro, the media department is out here doing their thing. Look at that cannon, dude, on that tripod, dude. That is a beast of a tripod over there, dude. This right here, hashtag life goals. So there are five locations where you can refill your drinks. One's gonna be in Camp Snoopy. The other one's gonna be in Fiesta Village. Now there are two locations in the Boardwalk. One is gonna be in the Boardwalk Barbecue. The other one's gonna be right underneath the Berry Tales ride. Now the last location is going to be right next to Wilderness Broiler. Okay, so it is no longer called Calico Fry Company. It is Calico Tater Bites. Here at the Calico Tater Bites, dude, they have so many tots, man. Here at Sutter's Pizza, on your meal plan, you do get a slice of pizza and a side salad. They do have a new loaded baked potato. They also have cheese, veggie, pepperoni, man. But check that out right there. Dude, look at the chili cheese tots, man. We got a bunch of cheese. We got a bunch of chili, dude. Ooh, bro, look at those carnita tots right there, dude. You got full on chunks of carnita, dude. Now I did get the chipotle on the side because it's a little spicy. I'm looking forward to eating that. Here is the loaded baked potato pizza, dude. One thing I do like, you do get your salad and dressing, man. So let's go ahead and get into the chili cheese tots first, dude. Look at that. You got a bunch of cheese, dude. You got a bunch of chili, man. And you can't go wrong with chili cheese tots, bro. So on those chili cheese tots, dude, I'm gonna have to give them a one out of three. The only reason now I'm giving it a one out of three, I would rather go to La Papa Loca and get the chili cheese fries from over there. The tater tots kind of got soggy and all mushy inside of it. So Eva, how was the pizza? Let's go ahead and get into the carnitas. Now the carnitas look pretty good, dude. I mean, look, dude, full on hunk of carnita, dude. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get some of that chipotle sauce right there. Okay. Oh, I thought that was a big train. I got excited for a second. Those carnita tots weren't that bad. The carnitas themselves are kind of plain Jane, but when you do throw in the chipotle sauce on top of it, it does match it very well. I'm gonna go ahead and give the carnita ones a two out of three. Way better than the chili cheese tots. So if I was gonna get tater tots from Calico Top Bites, dude, I would for sure go for the pulled pork barbecue one. So far, that's the best one for me, but they still do have a mac and cheese one that we have not tried, and the pastrami, dude. I'm gonna go ahead and try the pastrami next time on a meal plan. Wait, if you guys want another meal plan outside of the fourth one, if you guys want a fifth one, you guys know what to do, dude. Go ahead and hit those comments down below, dude, and I'll give you a fifth one. So those are our first five meals today on the meal plan, dude. We will see you guys in four hours.
We are back here at Knott's Berry Farm to get our meals. Now, if the audio sounds different, I figured since we've had a lot of people start subscribing, which thank you and welcome to every single one of you to the channel, man, that I should invest into the channel. So I got a wireless microphone system. Now let me know down in the comments below if you can hear a difference between the wireless and the one prior to this. But enough about that, dude. We're gonna go ahead and go to the cantina. Cause one thing the cantina has, dude, that's pretty good is their tamales. I have never owned a wireless microphone system, so it's gonna take me maybe a couple of videos actually to dial in this microphone itself. So I'm really excited for this, dude. So after the tamales, that closes out the cantina. If you are looking for a healthy item here in Fiesta Village, go to Cantina Dude and the Southwest Chipotle salad is really good. If you don't like spiciness, go ahead and let them know to put the Chipotle sauce on the side, dude. But that is one of my go-to things here at Knott's Berry Farm. One thing I do like about Cantina is you do get this lid on top. Now let's go ahead and take it off and actually look at the tamales itself. Ooh, dude, that looks so good. Now you do have a choice between red and green chili, but the red chili is gonna be less spicier than the green chili. So my mom really doesn't like tamales, but she said this one was decent and she rates it a two out of three. Now let me go ahead and get into this. If you do have rice and beans on the bottom, this is a chicken tamale. Oh yeah, dude, that's a pretty good tamale. I give it a three out of three dude now let's go ahead and go to la papa loca check that out they do have 100th anniversary not very farm watches man and they're only 20 bucks last time we were here we did get the lote fries dude those things are really delicious let's go ahead and get those chorizo fries bro and see what they're all about check out these chorizo fries man now the fries that are coming out been out of la papa loca dude have been on point dude so you have queso blanco you got the pico de gallo you got the chorizo dude there is spice coming out of this. I don't know if it's chorizo, pico de gallo, or the queso blanco, but this french fry right here is another three for three, dude. Good job, La Papaloca, dude. I like what's coming out of La Papaloca here, dude. Mm. Mm. If you do not like heat whatsoever, dude, you are not gonna wanna get that chorizo, dude, because it's gonna burn up your mouth, dude. Now it's time to hit up Boardwalk Barbecue. So one of the healthy options that we are gonna get here today is gonna be the chef's chicken salad. So that is an interesting item right there. The mac and cheese bowl with barbecue entree topping. Next time, we'll for sure try that out. So some healthy alternatives here is gonna be the rotisserie chicken and those chicken wings, dude. Those chicken wings are so good. Now on the side, let's go ahead and get the vegetables. And we're gonna get the three cheese mac and cheese, dude, because that thing is so delicious. Also, let's go ahead and get the rotisserie chicken salad, dude, because that thing is really delicious. When you just look at that rotisserie chicken, you got the cornbread and vegetables, dude. This looks so healthy right here. This is another great item right here, dude. You do have the barbecue wings, you got the three cheese mac and cheese, and all entrees outside of the salad and the sandwiches are going to get cornbread. This is one of my favorite salads here at Knott's Berry Farm, dude. It's the rotisserie chicken salad. We did get the avocado ranch and just look at all that goodness, dude. I'm a sucker for some good vegetables. We got the bell peppers, the broccoli, and the carrots. Delicious, has a lot of flavor, and the bell pepper itself had a nice sweetness to it, dude. Let's get in the chicken, and I'm talking, dude. Look, you got a whole half chicken right here, dude. We got a leg. Now that right there, easily gets a three out of three. Now let's get into the barbecue wings. The one thing I do like about the barbecue wings is they smother them in the barbecue sauce. Wings were all right. Now the way I'm judging the wing is from Taste of Mary Farm where we did have the pomegranate wings. Dude, those things were delicious. Compared to those, mm, those cannot compare. Um, I mean, they're not bad. Personally, me, I'm just gonna rank those wings a one out of three. But I mean, go ahead and try it. I mean, you guys might actually like it and it'd be three out of three for you guys. But just for me, it's a no-go. Now, pre-pandemic, dude, this rotisserie chicken salad was my go-to item here, dude, especially with the avocado ranch, man. 
the onions make it pop and stuff. I don't really care for the tomatoes and the strawberries on it, but that salad there gets an easy three out of three for me. The rotisserie chicken and that salad is gonna be some of your healthiest options here at Boardwalk Barbecue, man. But I would like to thank every single one of you guys for taking time out of your day to hang out with us here at Knott's Berry Farm once again. And we cannot do this without every single one of you, man. And I really appreciate every single one of you guys' support and you guys requesting more meal plan videos. So if there are other requests or videos you would like to see here at Knott's Berry Farm, go ahead, you know what to do. Drop that comment down below and I will make it happen. So if you guys haven't subscribed, dude, we hope you guys go down there and subscribe for more adventures, dude. We could not do this without you guys. You guys have a great day and we will see you next time. Deuces.